Welcome to Bedtime Sleep Stories for Grown-Ups by BZBeesHoney.net. I hope you are settled in for the night and are ready to go on a journey of deep and relaxing sleep. We've put these special bedtime sleep stories for adults for anyone out there dealing with insomnia, sleep problems, sleep deprivation, anxiety, pain, or any other kind of issues preventing you from getting enough sleep and being fully rested and ready to take on the day. We truly hope these stories can help you achieve the elusive, deep, and uninterrupted sleep. Please enjoy this episode and consider subscribing to our channel to support and help the spread of these sleep stories to people all over the world with the same issues that brought you to this video. Thank you for your support and a deep and uninterrupted sleep to you tonight. Let's begin. Chapter 4. A Universe United As Theo, Luna, and Marcus persevered in their struggle against the Circle, they found themselves leading a rapidly growing movement. With each passing day, more beings from across the cosmos joined their cause, united by their shared understanding of the interconnectedness of all things and their commitment to preserving the cosmic balance. The movement's influence expanded, and word of their victories against the circle spread throughout the universe. More and more beings began to question the true nature of the organization and its seemingly benevolent facade. They realized that the circle was not a force for good, but rather a harbinger of chaos and division, one that sought to undermine the cosmic hierarchy and shatter the delicate balance that held everything together. Theo, Luna, Marcus, and their allies worked tirelessly to expose the circle's true nature and to rally support for their cause. They embarked on a series of daring missions, infiltrating the organization's strongholds, gathering intelligence, and sabotaging its operations whenever possible. The unity and determination of their movement were unmatched, and each successful mission brought them one step closer to dismantling the Circle's reign of chaos. As the movement grew stronger and gained more traction, their efforts did not go unnoticed by the Circle. In response, the shadowy organization redoubled its efforts to crush the burgeoning movement. The Circle's agents, now more determined than ever, pursued Theo, Luna, Marcus, and their allies relentlessly, seeking to silence them and their message of cosmic unity. However, the members of the movement were undaunted. They knew that their cause was just, that their belief in the cosmic hierarchy and the interconnectedness of all things was the key to restoring balance and harmony to the universe. They would not be silenced, and they would not be stopped. The conflict between the two sides intensified, and it became clear that a decisive confrontation was looming. The Circle's relentless pursuit had forced the members of the movement to go on the defensive, to protect their allies and their cause from the organization's seemingly endless resources and vast network of agents. But they knew that they could not remain on the defensive forever. If they were to truly defeat the Circle and restore the cosmic hierarchy, they would need to go on the offensive, to take the fight to the organization's very heart. As they prepared for the final confrontation with the Circle, Theo, Luna, and Marcus knew that they would need to call upon the full might of their movement and the power of the cosmic hierarchy. They rallied their allies from across the cosmos, assembling a vast and diverse force that would stand against the Circle and its agents. As they gathered their forces, they also sought to strengthen their connection to the cosmic hierarchy and the delicate balance of the universe. They knew that their belief in the interconnectedness of all things would be the key to their victory, and they spent countless hours in meditation and contemplation, forging an even deeper bond with the cosmic forces that governed the universe. In the days leading up to the final confrontation, Theo, Luna, and Marcus focused on their strategy and prepared their forces for the battle ahead. They knew that they had to strike at the very heart of the Circle's operations, to deliver a blow so devastating that the organization would be unable to recover. The day of the final confrontation arrived, and Theo, Luna, Marcus, and their allies stood at the precipice of a battle that would determine the fate of the universe and the delicate balance that held it together. They knew that the odds were against them, but they also knew that they had the power of the cosmic hierarchy on their side, and that together they could overcome any obstacle. As the forces of the movement and the circle clashed, the universe bore witness to an epic battle. The forces of the movement, united in their belief in the cosmic hierarchy 
and the interconnectedness of all things fought fiercely against the agents of the circle. The conflict spanned the cosmos, and the outcome would determine the future of the universe. Throughout the battle, the members of the movement held fast, drawing upon their unwavering belief in the cosmic hierarchy and the power it bestowed upon them. Each victory, no matter how small, bolstered their resolve and fueled their determination to restore balance and harmony to the universe. As the battle raged on, Theo, Luna, and Marcus displayed unparalleled courage and determination. They led their forces with wisdom and conviction, inspiring those around them to fight even harder against the agents of the circle. With each passing hour, the tide of the battle began to turn in favor of the movement. The combined might of their forces, their unwavering belief in the cosmic hierarchy, and their unity in the face of adversity proved to be too much for the circle's agents. One by one their strongholds fell, and their power began to wane. In a final, desperate attempt to turn the tide of the battle, the circle's leader unleashed a devastating weapon, one capable of unraveling the very fabric of the universe. But Theo, Luna, and Marcus were prepared for this eventuality. They had anticipated the circle's treachery and had devised a plan to counteract the weapon's destructive power. As the weapon was unleashed, the trio channeled the full might of the cosmic hierarchy and, together, they neutralized the weapon's destructive force. The circle's leader, realizing that his plans had been thwarted and his organization's reign of chaos brought to an end, fled into the shadows, vowing revenge. With the threat of the circle vanquished, at least for now, the universe breathed a collective sigh of relief. The cosmic hierarchy had been restored, and the delicate balance that held the universe together was once again secure. In the aftermath of the battle, Theo, Luna, and Marcus knew that their work was far from over. The Circle's leader remained at large, and the organization's remnants still posed a threat to the cosmic hierarchy. But with the universe united in their belief in the interconnectedness of all things, they faced the future with renewed hope and determination, confident in their ability to protect the cosmic balance and stand against any who would seek to disrupt it. And so, the journey of Theo, Luna, and Marcus continued, their bond stronger than ever, and their commitment to the cosmic hierarchy unwavering. Together, they would safeguard the delicate balance of the universe and ensure that the harmony between all things remained unbroken for eons to come. With each passing hour, the tide of the battle began to turn in favor of the movement. The combined might of their forces, their unwavering belief in the cosmic hierarchy, and their unity in the face of adversity proved to be too much for the circle's agents. One by one their strongholds fell, and their power began to wane. In a final, desperate attempt to turn the tide of the battle, the circle's leader unleashed a devastating weapon, one capable of unraveling the very fabric of the universe. But Theo, Luna, and Marcus were prepared for this eventuality. They had anticipated the circle's treachery and had devised a plan to counteract the weapon's destructive power. As the weapon was unleashed, the trio channeled the full might of the cosmic hierarchy and, together, they neutralized the weapon's destructive force. The circle's leader, realizing that his plans had been thwarted and his organization's reign of chaos brought to an end, fled into the shadows, vowing revenge. With the threat of the circle vanquished, at least for now, the universe breathed a collective sigh of relief. The cosmic hierarchy had been restored, and the delicate balance that held the universe together was once again secure. In the aftermath of the battle, Theo, Luna, and Marcus knew that their work was far from over. The circle's leader remained at large, and the organization's remnants still posed a threat to the cosmic hierarchy. But with the universe united in their belief in the interconnectedness of all things, they faced the future with renewed hope and determination, confident in their ability to protect the cosmic balance and stand against any who would seek to disrupt it. And so, the journey of Theo, Luna, and Marcus continued, their bond stronger than ever, and their commitment to the cosmic hierarchy unwavering. Together, they would safeguard the delicate balance of the universe and ensure that the harmony between all things remained unbroken for eons to come. We've now come to the end of this chapter. Please stay find the next chapter on our YouTube channel. 
Subscribe to be notified of new stories and chapters are published. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful and peaceful night. Stay tuned for sleep music coming up.
Thank you.